On the face of it, to someone who doesn't ride mountain bikes, our hobby, sport, call it what you like, must seem like a rather odd way to want to spend your free time. It's physically demanding, you get covered in mud and soaked to the skin on a regular basis. You purposefully put yourself in locations that are awash with brambles, nettles and the dreaded sheep ticks. Injuries are so common that it's rare to see a mountain biker who isn't missing skin, or worse. So what is about mountain biking now? Such an appeal that what starts out as a bit of fun can soon turn into an obsession that lasts for a lifetime. Why do adults immerse themselves in the world of bicycles, spending quite a proportion of their wages on bicycles and clothes that if you were to wear them in any other aspect of life would have you labelled as an eccentric at best? Let's go back to the beginning. Not a beginner's guide, I've already done one of those, but where it all started. A great place to start. Now as children, many of us had bikes and we used to love just pottering around. Before long though, you get bored of pottering around and someone, usually an older boy, would build a terrifying looking jump out of a plank and some old bricks. Smaller children would be lined up after it and the older boy would zoom down on his bike, jump over and land. Hopefully only injuring one child at the very end of the line. The majority of the obstacle children unharmed, the rest would then be encouraged to have a go themselves. One would invariably fall off, hurt himself and go home crying and then the rest would tentatively line up full of fear and trepidation, hit that jump, land it and feel a sense of adrenaline and exhilaration they hadn't known before. The seed was sown. Also, the freedom that having a bike gave us as kids, the ability to go outside of the direct area you lived in, to explore, to experience new places, have adventures, not possible without a bike. You probably wouldn't come exploring here though. An old brickworks full of broken glass and dog crap. In a nutshell, mountain biking helped us to keep those feelings of exhilaration and freedom we felt as children alive. We revert to our childhood selves, if only for a short time. Note to self, next time drink the Lucasaid after the trampoline bit. <sighs> as adults we live incredibly busy lives, work, kids, having to go bloody shopping. Life can feel like one endless list of chores. Now imagine having an interest that not only takes you away from all of that for a short period of time, gets you out into the countryside, up in the mountains, out in the woods, wherever. But in the process of doing so, you are spending time with like-minded friends, challenging yourself to do things that fill you with exhilaration, and at the same time, you're getting fitter. Sure, you may get coated in mud and wet through in the process of doing so, but again, wasn't that part of the fun of being a kid? Especially when your friends are in the same situation. Why should we lose those feelings? Why should those experiences be placed in childhood memories that are fondly reminisced about? Why, even if only for a short time, can't we have those experiences again? Even if doing so puts us on the periphery of society, doing activities that most people think of as a bit odd. When I think of the experiences I've had whilst mountain biking, I've experienced this till to come, it fills me with joy. Standing atop a remote mountain in a foreign country before setting off down an unknown trail through unfamiliar surroundings and terrain. Seeing a friend's reaction as they see a stunningly beautiful and serene view for the first time. Zipping through the woods with equal elements of fear and exhilaration. Flying over a sketchy looking jump not knowing whether I will crash or land in one piece and not really caring. Well maybe caring a little bit. Meeting some of the best people I've ever had the good fortune of knowing. Visiting remote parts of the country that life would otherwise never have taken me. This is why. This is why, to me, there is no hobby, sport, call it what you like, that comes anywhere close to mountain biking.